hi guys welcome back to my channel uh, my name is Ino so in today's video it's going to be a, sort of a continuation of what I did uh, a week ago and this has to do with connecting to uh, your EC2 instance on uh, AWS so on last week's video I did a connection uh, using the um, the key the private key that we get from uh, AWS and also I used the uh, DNS name to make a connection. So what I'm going to do today is going to be a little different. I'm going to uh, do a connection using the public IP address and I'm also going to make some changes so that I can connect using a password instead of using a key. I just use a password instead. Now in order for uh, for us to be able to do that, there is a file that we'll need to change within the Ubuntu machine that will allow us to use a password for authentication. So right now, um, I have two windows open here. This is the instance right here that I, I created. The information is right here. Uh, we have the public IP, and then there is also the public uh, the DNS name. Uh, there's more information down here. This is the key that I used to do my initial uh, connection. And the, the command that I used is right here. I used the command prompt, and this is the, the full command I typed to log into it. So SSH dash, dash I, then the name of the, uh, the key, key one, and then Ubuntu is the username, add, and then the uh, public IP. Now, already set up, we already have uh, the security group set up that allows SSH inbound so we are all set there now since i'm already logged into the machine i'm not going to go through the process of logging in so if you type this command it should allow you to log into the machine now the name of the file that we need to to make modifications to is called um, sshd uh, underscore config we can look at the file using uh, let's say the less command here let me just extend extend this. You can say less, and it's located inside the etc ssh shd underscore config. That's the name of the file. So it's only one line we need to to make changes to, which says a uh, password authentication. Uh, it, it needs to be yes. By default, it says no. So this is this is the, the line we need to change and this needs to say yes instead of no. Now you can edit this using a um, uh, nano or, or vim. I'll use vim to edit it. I missed the actual vim. So, and this is the file. I'll go ahead and edit it. Go to insert mode. And then I'll try and find that line. It should be down here somewhere. So this is it right here. I'm going to change this to yes. Uh, I apologize for the text there, it's not very clear, but I just changed that to yes. Press escape, column, right click. Now if we view that file again, and scroll down, we should see that it's changed to yes. So right here it says, password authentication is yes. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, exit or log out of the uh, the machine. Now, actually, before I do that, what I'm going to do is just gonna create a, a new password. Just create a new password for your user. Strong password since you're changing from uh, logging in using your key to using a password. It's uh, good to create a stronger password. So 
Actually, we need sudo then and the user is Ubuntu. Let's do a strong password. Then we made the changes. Now, one thing you want to do before you try logging into this uh, Ubuntu machine with your password, after you made the changes to that SSH file, you want to restart your SSH services. So the command to do that is going to be sudo service SSH restart. And that should restart the SSH services. Now you can exit or log out of the log out of your Ubuntu machine. And then now you can log, try to log back in with, with just your password. Now we'll log in with both the, uh, the command prompt and also the uh, party, uh, which is an SSH client. The command on the command prompt is SSH. Now we're not using the dash i since you're not using the key file, just the username, Ubuntu, at uh, public IP, uh, 100.26.246.130 and then it's asking for a password and as you can see I'm able to log in with just a password okay I'll exit out and now I'm gonna open my uh, party and try and do the login as well so we're using SSH port 22 the host is 100.26.246.130. We're using SSH, so we just click on open. And this is it's prompting me to accept the key. Accept. So this is the window that popped up. Now it's asking who you want to log in as. I'll go ahead and put Ubuntu. It's asking for a password. And again, I'm able to log in uh, using a party with just the password. So this is another option if you don't want to keep uh, using that key or if you don't want to configure your SSH client to use that key, you can just create a, either a new user or just uh, change the, the um, the password for that default Ubuntu user and then just use that password to log in and, and not have to use the key, the private key or the key pair to log, log into your machine remotely. All right, that's all for this video. I hope this information has been useful. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks, bye.